All right, welcome back to another video. Today's topic is going to be very simple. Today's topic is going to be about uh, this new trend that's out there. Yeah, it's called tips. So wherever you go nowadays, whether you go to a fast food restaurant or you go to a convenience store or anything like that, you know, you notice everybody wants a tip. You go to McDonald's, you go to Burger Kings, you go to Starbucks, you go to a Whataburger, you order your food, you get your food, everybody wants a tip. Well, I'm here to tell you this. The only time I give somebody a tip, when I go to this place, it's called a restaurant. You know where you actually go in there and you sit down and the server will come up and say, hey, welcome to Applebee's or welcome to the Outback or welcome to uh, Texas Roadhouse. What can I start you off with? Now, that's a individual coming up to you who's actually gonna take your order, who's gonna serve you throughout your stay. And depending on how well they do, you know, you leave them a nice tip, period. You know, I don't get this trend where everybody thinks that they should, you know, that, that, you know, that they even have a right to ask you for a tip. Even at a, even at a, uh, a pizza shop like we got over here in Watauga, everybody wants a tip nowadays. No, I'm sorry. I'm going into your restaurant, sitting down. You're actually taking care of me. Sure, I'm going to give you a tip. If you're a fast food restaurant or a pizza joint or a gas station or anything else, you're not getting a tip. Period. You know, I've heard I've heard them uh, say, "Well, you know, they're asking for tips, so well, you know, they can make more money." Well, if you want to make more money, especially at a fast food restaurant. Um, if you're if you're using that as a full-time job, you know that's that's not what a fast food restaurant's all about. Fast food restaurants are for more like teenagers or college-age kids or uh, uh, you know you know a single you know or a single parent wanting to uh, you know make a little extra income to go along with say what they make at a full-time job or something like that. You know it's not really meant to be a long-term career unless you become a manager or something and so my whole thing is this if you want extra money there's two ways to get it either ask your employer for a raise or do like I, what I've done when I first got married hmm, 36 years ago to help support my new family I worked two jobs that's right I worked two jobs that's how I got extra income, okay? Or if that's not appealing to you, then maybe um, go back to school, okay? Get a career-minded job. Electrician, automotive mechanic, welder, you know, nurse, you know, computer, uh, computer tech, doctor, things like that. The... the these fast food restaurants are not meant to be, you know, <clears throat> a permanent job. Like I said, high school kids, college kids, you know, a parent at home wanting to, uh, we'll, we'll say uh, like a mom, you know, let's say you got a husband and a wife, mother and a father. Let's say the father's working a full-time job. The mother's at home raising the kids, but yet, you know, she wants to make a little extra money. So she may go and work, you know, two, three days at a McDonald's or a Burger King or, or a Wendy's or something like that to, you know, make a little extra income. That's what that's all about. Those jobs were never meant to be career-minded, permanent jobs, okay? Managers, yes, because they tend to make more money. But I mean, if you can work at a McDonald's or any of those fast food restaurants, if you're a single person, no obligations, no wife, no kids, okay, and you can pay all your bills on it, you no, know, that might be fine, but I don't see that happening. To me, I see that being impossible. So again, 
if I'm going to a restaurant and sitting down and being waited on by an individual, yes, they get a tip. Fast food restaurants, gas station, coffee shops, no. You don't need a tip for me. Okay? Period. I'm not doing it. And I don't think anybody should either. That's my rant for the day.